Hello everyone, and welcome back to Farming Simulator 2022. Today we need to start a new Let's Play series for some reasons we'll get into. Um, first and foremost, we want to do a start from scratch. So this, not start from scratch, that's the bad one, that's the hard one. Uh, farm Manager, but we'll still start from scratch, basically. So we're still going to do Elm Creek. I am not done with this map and we want to turn off. Some of these are just for my tutorials. We don't want them here. So let's get into it. So we will start with no land, no uh, vehicles, basically nothing except for money. So we'll start with a one and a half million and no debt. So um, we just have a nice clean palette from which to work. The difference between this and the actual like start from scratch hard mode is that in that you start with, I don't remember the exact numbers, you start with like a couple hundred thousand and maybe a little bit of debt um, or something. I think total you start with like half a million or something. It's It's ridiculous. So... Um, let's, this looks good, right? I'm fine with this. The, the nice thing about clothing is you can always change it in the game. So, we still start on our, oh, it is stuttery today. Uh, start on our property that we had in our last one, but we don't own it. So all we own is in the top right, we own the 1.5 million. So before we start buying stuff, we're going to change a few options to make this more fun. Uh, and this is after a hundred or so hours of playing this game, I have decided that I need these settings. So first of all, we'll save, we'll call this uh, LP2. Our last one was short-lived, but this one should go longer. Um, plus, I've just learned a lot. So that's kind of the other reason is uh, just... I know more than I did to start with than, than the first one, because the first one I started like day one. We're still going to do economic difficulty of easy, and that's just for the sake of the video. Money is tough to get uh, in this game. I played like an 80 hour uh, file at the end of December just on my own, just kind of just just for fun, uh, no, no videos or anything, and it's just so difficult, I, I feel like. To earn money, so we'll just put that on easy. Uh, all this stuff will keep the same. All the season stuff is good. And then here, crop destruction, I have to play with it off. Like I will try not to just drive through fields, but what I found is just sometimes when you have two fields close to each other, um, I don't know if I can find an example on Elm Creek, but let's say, I don't know, even like down here, if you own like field 39 and 42, and you get to the end of 42, sometimes just turning around to go back to, to a new row will destroy crops on 39. And it, it would just, it gets really frustrating. Um, so I'll still try to drive normal-ish, but uh, I just have to add that off. And then the other one that I absolutely found I hated was Fieldstone. I can't stand it. It does nothing fun. It, I feel like 70% of my field work was going to stone, and it doesn't even improve yield. It just doesn't damage your vehicles as much. And then that's my other... Uh, oh yeah, we want all these to be off because we have to buy those ourselves. And then the other... Uh, the other complaint I have is that vehicles seem to get destroyed way too fast. Uh, I was spending five ten thousand dollars every few months repairing my vehicles. I don't know if that's maybe been fixed. In the, I haven't played this for a month, so maybe that's been patched. I haven't seen like a big patch since I last played, so I'm not really sure. But uh, so much of my income was going to just repairing my tractor. It was crazy. So, uh, and that was with Fieldstone off. So I don't think it was the Fieldstone. But anyway, I couldn't. I I can't stand like rolling, picking them up, uh, seeing seeing on, seeing them on the map, like uh, if we can find it quick and then we'll actually get to doing stuff. 
Wasn't there... Oh, maybe they took it off the map. There was a stone. Oh, it's off because I took, yeah, I turned the option of field stone off, so it's off the map. But just all the like s dotted stone area just was visually unappealing and yeah, anyway, done with it. Can't, can't do it. It, it was, it reminded me of, and then we'll, uh, it reminded me of animal cleanliness that they used to have in the last couple games where it was like just an added thing that made the game less fun and didn't really serve any purpose, right? It didn't like add to yield or it didn't add to animal yield. It just, well, it just detracted from it and it was also way too frequent. And you had to pick up their mess. So anyway, we're going to try a new strategy for this one. Um, instead of buying like a couple fields and doing crop work, we're just going to immediately go into grass work. I found like silage made me just lots of money, uh, particularly or specifically silage baling, because then you don't have to buy a silo bunker or anything. So we're just going to buy like a large, nice field, maybe like, I don't know, 41. Maybe that's too small even. I'm thinking like just something where we can get a ton of grass planted. Um, how much is this? 180. That's actually not bad. And then we would have like some land here if we want to put animals or something um can we jump to that field or do we have to walk there i kind of want to just see it okay let's do it i think that's going to be big enough that's a pretty big field so we're going to buy this now we have land and we still can't jump to it um but we could go plop down a uh like a house like a trailer so when this game first launched in november the only thing you could plop down house wise was like a house and a house is very very expensive but then the, in the 1.2 patch where they hard nerfed horses which we'll talk about i'm sure at some point because there is no purpose for uh buying horses anymore after that patch unless they've repatched it again I, I haven't seen one but uh they added this bunker now so if we go to farmhouses yeah 150 is what we would have had to spend plus it's just kind of big but now we can just have like a little starter area um we want it facing the road or do we want it facing the now we want to facing the road. And let's tuck it back here in the trees. That's kind of nice. And there we go. So now the nice thing about that is twofold. We can jump there. And now we're on our property. And we'll be able to sleep when we need to sleep, which will be quite often. So we have our land. Um, we actually have wheat if we want to harvest it. But we probably won't because uh, then we have to rent a combine and all that and we're not going to make back our money so the other thing we want to do before we buy too many things is we need a generator and this basically will just help us offset the cost of if we have to take on debt or anything like that um, this will just help not go in the hole so we're gonna put it i don't actually want it by our house we have all this land now let's like tuck it back here in these trees if we can um that way it's not kind of in our way of driving One hundred fifty-six thousand. there so now we've just built this nice wind turbine which we could see if i can find the direction well it should be this way there it is and so now we'll get about $13,000 a day doing nothing. And so as long as we don't take on too much debt, we should always start a new day with more money than we had before instead of digging ourselves in a huge hole. Still have 1.1 million, no debt. So this is where we get to have fun and just buy, buy things. 
So the first thing, of course, is a tractor. I like to buy a really nice starter tractor like this. It's expensive, but it's going to have um, enough horsepower. We could probably upgrade the engine. And we want the front attacher while we're doing it, just because we know at some point we're going to need front, you know, some sort of pallet fork or bale or some baler or something, uh, bale spike or something. So let's do Michelin. I don't know. There's no point, but I might as well see if we can change it. Uh, of course, we want to do our license plate. Nope, haven't fixed that yet. So we still have to do. M O O S, and then we have to click the E, and then enter is not how you do it. You have to hit space, and of course I forgot to do front and back. So there's our front. Do we even have a back one? Yep. And then that should be good. So now we can tab over. And just while we're here, let's just buy a cheap front loader. Um, there's really no difference here, I think. One of these might not work. But we'll see if this cheap one, well, cheapish one works. And then we got to start conserving some money. All right. So again, we don't actually need to buy anything yet for this. I just wanted to get it on here because that's kind of my setup. It's just what I like to do. Okay, so for grass work, we're just going to buy all of the things and then we can sell uh, what we don't need. Or if we run out of money and stuff. So we need a cultivator, which, well, do we need to plow that? We shouldn't. You only have to plow if you do a root crop in this one, which is really nice. So if we take away weeds, oh, it does need plowing. Uh, we might as well do that because um, Oh, that's going to take a long time. How much is this to lease? Not bad. And this is what? Eight meters, whereas this is four. So we do want to just spend the money. Making sure I don't make a mistake here. Yeah. 3,500. Let's get that started while, before we keep shopping. But we want to get our yield as high as possible here because once you plant grass, of course, you don't ever have to plant it again, which will also help because we won't have to buy a cedar or anything. We can just lease one because we just have to seed once. And I'm not sure how this strategy is going to work out for us, but I... Again, when I was playing that game on my own, I just felt like the, it, the only time I was able to really get ahead were days where I sold silage. Or grass silage days. And you can do it three-ish times a year. Like, I think it took... Oh, I'm going to get the numbers wrong. Am I going the like completely wrong way? Nope, just a little too far east. So anyway, that whole thing about driving correctly, I, I sort of forgot already. So let's, uh, let's get back on track. But yeah, you can, I think every four, one, two, three, I think four, maybe three months or four months for fully grown grass. Because there's one where you, and yes, I know we're not picking up this wheat. I don't think it's going to be worth, well, you know what we could do? Hold on. How much is it to rent a harvester? Even a small one would be fine. So 6,000, but then you also have to have the header, and then we'd have to have a trailer. Because cause the other kind of big money maker were chickens. But I, uh, the sweet wouldn't last as a super long time, I don't think. And I don't want to spend that money. I think we're good. Let's just stick with the strategy for now. Um, but that'll also be probably the first thing we pivot to. Or not pivot, we'll just add. I don't know why we would pivot. We'll add is probably chickens, because 
if you have a full barn of chickens and at least one or you know one field like this to grow wheat every year um they make i was making a lot of money you know taking in a full truckload of them of, of eggs was was pretty good so okay so we're gonna have plowing and then we need to lime it's already going to be fertilized so that'll be nice so we need to lease a limer. All right, so now that we're going, we can just kind of shop and let it work. So things we can lease are the, because we don't, we don't have to fertilize every time. Another boon of grass is you don't have to do um, a lot of field work once you do it once. You could always roll it every time and get like a bit extra yield, but I don't because it takes forever and I'd rather just keep moving on in real time and just get more grass later, faster, if that makes sense. Um, so I don't worry about that. So we want to lease a lime machine, a limer. So we can do this. We want the extension. No, we don't. We want the spreading discs. And we want that. We want to buy lime before I forget. I like to use big bags, just really no reason. I just kind of like to keep everything one, one, like one type if I can. So we'll buy a couple of those. That might not be enough. 4,000. We'll try that. Okay. We then will need to roll it, and I will roll it once because because we just want the highest yield. I'm also thinking mulch. We're not going to be able to mulch it either because we're plowing, right? I'm trying to think how that works because I don't see because mulching is when you take away the little stalks, and since we're plowing, I don't see that, and I've never tried to mulch after plowing. The other thing about mulching is it's only like two and a half percent yield, which I'm not going to worry about. Plus, what's really annoying about it is that the purple state stays on. It shouldn't be mulched as purple. It should be needs mulched as purple or something. I don't know. It's it seems opposite to me. So we just won't mulch. It will just it's two and a half percent. Who cares? So it's rolling, but rolling is easy enough. We might as well. Um, well, and, and rolling's wide enough. Well, what the world? What are you doing? So yeah, the other thing about mulching is it's just really slow because the mulcher is really small, so... Did, okay, I'm clicking too many things. We did at least this, right? No, we didn't. Because it says zero least. So we want to lease a roller. Then I should say one at least. Then we need a cedar, and we don't need a cultivator because we're plowing. And we don't need to fertilize it because it's already fertilized, so that's nice. So let's get a. It doesn't have to be huge. Um, there's 12. Eight thousand. That might be too much. Let's wait on renting this, and that's that'll be the last thing we lease, right? Because we'll have we'll have it plowed, limed, rolled. So then we need we don't need to weed grass again. There's just like a lot of advantages to grass. Um, okay. Does this need rolled? I think it will once we plant. So, so far so good. Now here's where it gets expensive, because this is where we have to actually buy, buy things. So the first thing we have to buy is a good mower. 
Um, I really like, and this may have it too, but that's really expensive for like a couple more meters. So I, I buy this. I've been using this. It's really nice. And it has its own windrowing function that you can set. And we'll look at that on our first mow. So you can kind of save yourself from having to buy a windrower. So we're not going to buy a windrower. So we have our mower and then we have to bale it and silage it. So there's a couple ways to do that. We can buy a baler and a bale wrapper, which would be here. Um, I don't like these two. I do like these and they're pretty cheap. Uh, the other thing about that is then you have to do it twice. Like you have to go out through the field and bale, then you have to go out through the field and wrap. The nice thing is you can get some really large square bales. So it'd be, we could do a 220, whatever centimeter. I don't, I don't really understand what the cubic meter, I don't know who cares. Uh, we can do a large, large square bale. Whereas I think with the ones that automatically wrap for you, you can only do small circle bales. Yeah. So it's just a matter of the size of bales we want. I kind of like thinking, let's just get large bales. Um, but then we have to get a this bale loader, which is expensive. Whereas this one is half the price and can do 24 bales. So are we going to go big or go home? I'm not sure. I think we just see how, how much a square baler is. Uh, this is the one for poplar trees, I believe. The bio, no, this one is. So this one is square, square. So all these are squares. I don't know. Why? I guess they're all pretty much the same price. So which brand do we want? I usually go New Holland. I don't really know why. I just like New Holland. I've never done this Crone one. And it's like the cheapest one. 180, 245. I don't know. Let's do it. Oh, it like saved my plate. I think that's new from back when I first played it. Do we have the... Yeah, there it is. Okay, so we have our baler. Big pack. Oh, I feel like I'm messing up. Square, 220. We just have to make sure we set it for 220. And if we mess up, that's fine. Silage additives tank? That'd be sweet if we, if we could actually... if that actually works with baling grass, which I guess it would because Huh. Well, let's try it. So I got my license plate. I get no. Yeah, and I got. Let's do it. Buy. So that's a big, a big purchase. Uh, before I forget, let's go get our silage additive. I mean, if we can get more yield of grass, let's try it. Um, and then we need a wrapper, which will be this one, two hundred twenty. Let's make sure we don't forget to reset our baler to two twenty, because that is what. It can take 180 to 220. If we do the 240 or whatever, then we will just get grass bales. And um, I usually do pink. The blue actually looks really nice. Let's do blue, something different. So money is starting to disappear. And then we need our loader and square and I may have forgotten some license plates, but that's okay. We can always add them if we, if it's bothering us. Whew, okay. So I'm trying to think, if we go to the shop now, we can kind of look at our fleet and make sure. Okay, so we're plowing and then we'll lime. Then we will plant, that's what I need. I need a planter and seeds. So let's buy the seeds. Um, we probably don't need a ton. We'll do three just to make sure. 
I don't think it'll take even anywhere near that. Um, I know I'm going to forget some stuff, but that's okay. We just want to be careful with this first one because once the grass is planted, we can just forget about it. We never have to touch it again except to to, to bale, to mow, to mow and bale. It's, it's so nice. So the other thing that we want is probably just another tractor. That way we can have a worker and we can also work. So I bought this one and we have the money. So I want one that's like also nice. Um, and can also have a, well, we actually could maybe just get a nice, the problem with big tractors is they can't have a front loader and it's not really a deal breaker, but I just really like that. Um, and I don't want to like, gosh, we could do just a nice, but we don't really need it right now. We don't really have, so let's just buy a nice tractor up here somewhere. Um, we have the Deutzfar, JCB. These aren't too expensive. We could do another one that's the same as this. Um, I do really like this one. This could just be like our worker tractor. So we want this on the front and back. Yeah, let's do this. Engine. Let's just Let's just do it. We got the money. And how much? 247. Okay. 